everybody for those of you who don't know my name is michael forrest and welcome to it's shark time now before we get going just a quick note if you guys send me any text messages during this event i'm not going to be taking them until the event is over i find like text messages to be disruptive and that's the way i've been handling it lately where i'll respond to them after the event is over uh, if you really do need to get a hold of us the best way to do it is by joining our discord and you'll find the address on the beam right here directly under me all right now uh now the uh, question i get asked the most in all space i've done i'm um, going up on six you have a question there uh bonnie mary you can see your hand up nope i accidentally pressed that <laughs> okay well that can happen all right uh speaking of which you'll notice in your lower left you have that microphone icon and when that microphone icon is clear that means we can hear everything that's happening in your environment and i think that's a good thing i like being able to hear you laugh i like being able to interact with you but if during this event uh somebody's being like overly disrupted by like having a conversation that's maybe better suited for the campfire and it won't stop one of my moderators or my producer will go ahead and they'll turn your microphone icon to red when that happens is we can't hear what's happening in your environment so you know uh, and that's actually not a bad thing because if you know if somebody comes into your space and asks why you're screaming in terror you'll be able to answer them without you know worrying about whether or not they're going to hear us or not you know uh, also you know it, but just because you're muted uh, does not mean you can't express yourself you're going to notice that you have a pink cheek smiley face here when you click on it your OG panel opens up offering you a wide variety of options with which to express yourself uh, i'll leave it to you to choose which one's the most appropriate but uh you, but if i if i can i'd like to reserve this one all right this is by far the most distracting of all the emojis you know big giant hand sticking out of your head i think you can't miss that one and we're going to use that as kind of a signal so if my voice goes choppy oh, i'm going to want to know that if sharky's making what, what was that what'd you say i didn't hear you talking i saw you mouth moving but i didn't hear you talking can you hear me I now yeah. oh excellent okay i'm glad that worked out all right uh you know but if sharky starts making fun of me behind my back i'm going to want to know that if the roof starts leaking up there i'm going to want to know that too all right so just let me know if that should happen and use that hand as a way to signal me that something's gone wrong now if only one person is doing it i'm probably just going to keep on going because it might be somebody messing around or maybe it's something that's only happening to you then you can solve by just re-entering the space uh but you know but if five of you do it at one time i'm going to you know know that something's wrong and i need to address okay and i'm going to take care of it that way all right now uh now the question I got asked the most actually the first person who came into space today I think it was uh, I think it was smack asked me what's this all about that's the question I get asked every day in all space I've done almost like 600 events and in that time I'm asked that question all the time uh, so I like to start this event out by asking you guys that question and to give you guys a hint the answer is right down here right in front of my podium so why are we here everybody let's hear it Okay, that's good. I know we don't have that big of a crowd, but let's try it with a little enthusiasm. Why are we here, everybody? <laughs> be be a shark. shark. Oh, no, Molly. Molly got into it. That was good. All right, very good. That was nice. It sounds like music when you guys get it right. It really does. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, so now uh, let's see. Now, uh, now so we're here to feed a shark, right? Now, how would you guys like to meet my friends? I'm going to bring them out. Anybody want to meet my friends? Yeah. yeah. Here, come yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Let's bring them out. Yeah. All right. We got my friends Melvin. We've got Buster, and we've got Fang. All right. Now these are my friends, and they're looking good now. But when we first started this event, they weren't looking so great because I was trying to find a way to feed them. I figured by hosting an events, I'd have a lot of people come through, and it was true. I had like hundreds of people coming through my events every week, but. Nobody was willing to help me feed a shark until I had a conversation with an admin that changed my life. That admin told me that if, you know, that all space users would do absolutely anything for a world building kit. And I'm like, anything? Really? So that's what we did. We got this uh, Ravenhole Events coffee mug that we give away during the show. We also uh, have, if you look out in the lobby in one of the marquees, we have a 12, uh, 12 piece kit. It's an aquarium themed kit where you can fill that aquarium up any number of different ways with the items inside of it. And at this at the end of the event today, we will go over there and we, you can inspect the, uh, uh, the items in that kit yourself all right so we're gonna you know go check that out at the end there uh you know but here we go so yeah that's what we're gonna do and if you'd like to be a contestant on today's show for a chance to win this 12-piece kit and this uh, raven hall events coffee mug all you need to do is take the pointer that's coming out of your right hand and aim that right at sharky's nose there you're going to see a spinning target appear 
And if you squeeze your trigger on that spinning target, uh, you're going to get a text prompt that appears in the air in front of you. There you can enter your all space username. This has to be your username, not your display name. If you don't know what your username is, you can find it by pressing that blue and white triangle button, then pressing on the me tab. Then you know you can shoot your hair, your avatar, you'll have your display name there. And then right under that in parentheses, you're going to see that you have your username. And that's the name that we need in order to distribute our prizes. Oh, I see somebody jumped. Okay, there we go. You know, it's funny. Last week, somebody said, you know, Sharky never eats during the events. And I'm like, do you see how many people throw themselves in the water? Right? It's a lot. You know, he, he's probably eats better than anybody here. All right, cool. All right. Now, uh, well, the way this is going to work now is we're going to, uh, let's see. Oh, I got the, I pressed the wrong button. Would you look at that? Uh, let's see. Here we go. The way this is going to work, you can see we're going to see a raise hand button appear as if by magic on your lower right. Now, if you've checked in with Sharky, and only if you've checked in with Sharky, because if you don't, something bad will happen. But if you've checked in with Sharky, go ahead and press on that raise hand button. It'll turn blue when you're going to get on my list. And while we wait for that list to fill up, listen, if you're having any problems with anybody in all space, right, maybe somebody's giving you a hard time in a campfire, maybe somebody's scheduling events right over yours, or maybe somebody's like trolling you constantly, just go ahead and send them a come visit. All right. They'll come here. My friends will get to eat. You know, your problem will be solved and all space will be a better place overall. Right. So, <laughs> You know, just go ahead and do that. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see who we have on the menu today. Let's see. We've got. Uh, let's see. We've got. Let's see. We've got a uh, Fob Marley. We've got a Ring Queen, and we've got a uh, Smacky Mouth. All right. So that we're going to have all of you up here. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to extend these bridges out. And when I do, uh, you just come on up here. Only the people I called come up. And let's see. So we're going to extend them out. And listen, if you need to recenter, now's the time. Because if you do it while uh, you're on stage, what's going to happen is you're going to end up in the audience. And this is awkward for everybody. All right? Because, you know, you get thrown back here. And then the bridge is closed. Like, how do I get up there? You know? Oh, wow. It's, it's not that bad crowd. People are starting to show up. This is good. Didn't think we are going to have a nice crowd today. But it looks like we are. All right, everybody. Let's see. Do we got everybody up here? We do. All right. Let's pull back these bridges so you don't escape there. All right. You know, escaping is bad. All right. Let's see. Smeck, have uh, you been around all space for long? Um, probably like since maybe since the ending of last year. The ending of last year. Oh, that's been a while. So you've been around, you've done everything, you've had enough, you know, and you're choosing to go out this way, right? Yeah, I haven't been on alt space in probably like three weeks, but yeah. Three weeks. All right, and you come back and you realize you've had enough. I get it. All right. Uh, now let's yeah. see. Ring Queen, let me ask you, how long have you been around all space for? Probably for about two to three oh, months. Two to three months. Have you ever been to the show before? Mm, yeah, I've always been. Oh, okay. Uh, how'd you enjoy it? It was it was good. All right, cool. I All right, let's see. Good, yeah. Fob Marley, what's going on there? So you man? wave it up to the audience. You're making friends already. That's good. You got to wave <laughs> them over. That's excellent. How long have you been around all space for? Uh, maybe a couple months, one or two months. About one or two months. Oh, that's good. Have you ever been to the show? Is this your first time? First time, man. Oh, wow. Okay, what do you think so far? Awesome, man. It's cool to be on stage. I can't wait to see what's going on. Oh, cool. All right. Well, let's, let's not disappoint you. Uh, come on up this ramp here. And once you get up here, you're going to see we have these three yellow X's. If everybody would choose a yellow X to stand on, and, uh, you know, once you're on your yellow X, you can recenter, you know, make yourself comfortable, you know, make yourself, you know, make yourself at home there. You know, let's see here. Let's see. It looks like we're missing a contestant. It looks like our volunteer. Off. Maybe they. Re, re, yeah, you recentered. And you, yeah, okay. I told you that was awkward. Let me ask you. Does it feel awkward? Yeah. Uh, embarrassing. It does, right? Yeah, I thought so. All right. Yeah, you can recenter when you're on your X, but not on stage. Here we go. All right. There we go. All right. Bob Marley. It looks like you're having an issue there. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Come on up there. All right. Bob. Yeah, right, yeah, you know, you want to avoid recentering. There you go. You're, uh, there you go. All right, cool. Pull that back there. All right. Now, if you choose a yellow X where you feel comfortable, there we go. All right. Let me see you recenter there because it looks like you might be exploiting the space. I've had that happen. That's not enough. All right. Cool. Now, uh, so we're, we're going to do now uh, if you press the send button right in front of you to get your chicken or a system. All right. There you go. All right. Now, uh, Ring Queen, would you press the consent button that's right in front of you? You did, guys. Why you guys? Right down on the floor there. On? Awesome. All right. Now, what the we're going to do is we're going to raise up can these glass enclosures me? to make you all feel safe, can secure, and comfortable. 
All right, okay. there we go. All right, and just a friendly reminder, any huh? attempts to escape will immediately disqualify you from our event. We've had a problem with runners every now and then, and, uh, you know, and some oh, people yeah. say that it's excessive. You but you know, know what's excessive is denying my friends a chance to eat. All right, that can be really excessive. You know, we don't, we don't like that. We think that's the animal cruelty, and we're not going to stand for it. Yeah. No? yeah. Okay. What's going on here? If you point out the zone. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not showing up for me. Uh, if you come in late, that can happen. Uh, Jam Rock Girl, if you come in late and you, you can't check in with Sharky, that's okay. Uh, if we have you up in the next round, we'll hey, work Ring around Queen. it, okay? Yeah, there okay. we go. All right, now, uh, let's see here. Hey, Ring Queen, Fob saying hi to you. Good luck. All right. You, you know you guys are competing, all right? I wouldn't get too friendly up there. Right, now, the way this is going to work is we're going to ask you questions. Now, the questions don't have to, the answers don't have to be right. The answers only have to convince our audience that you deserve to, li to live more than the person next to you. That's it. Pretty easy. All right? So okay. now you're going to notice that a number has appeared above your head. And, uh, you know, and that's going to give our audience the ability to vote for you. All right. So let's say that Bob Marley has an incredible answer and you guys really like it. You can click on <clears throat> Bob Marley's nameplate there and the number will go up. Right. Now, if you see Ring Queen has an even better answer than that, you immediately regret voting for Bob Marley. You're like, you know what? I really wish I voted for Ring Queen. You can. You can you can change your vote at any time until we lock in the voting. All right. And that's how this is going to work. All right. So let's start out with you, Bob Marley. Are you ready for your question? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What well, do you see out there in the distance? We've got the uh, the structure in the, over there. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. All right. Well, that's the Ravenall Sea Lab. Now we do all kinds of important science over there. You know, a lot of our event ideas come from there. And our lead researcher, Doc Starling, he's getting on in years, but his work's not done. So he's looking out, you know, for ways to extend his life. And he's looking at sea urchins because sea urchins, those spiny little dudes, they live for a long time. Sometimes they live up for 200 years. Now, if you could live for 200 years, what would you do with that kind of time? I would start the next no pressure. Amazon. You start the next Amazon, but there already is. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. But a better. You're pretty Amazon. enthused about it. Okay. Cool. All right. Excellent. How about you, it. Ring Queen? If you could live for about 200 years, what would you do with that kind of time? If I could live for 200 years. Yes. If I could live for 200 years. Sex. I would make life better for all of us. Oh. Wow. Okay, well, let's hope Dr. Sterling's research comes through with those sea urchins, right? Because that would be cool. All right, Speck and Mal, let me ask you, right? What do you think? If you could live for 200 years, what would you do with that time? If I could live for 200 years, um... <laughs> I'd probably build a time. big place. I'd probably build yeah. a big place where... Like, there's, like, no negative energy. Everybody's, like, happy. Everybody's, like, not stressing about anything. Some pretty positive energy. It'd be a energy. great place. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, everybody. We'll take a moment to think about which answer you like the best. All right, because we're going to be locking in those votes. You won't be able to vote after this. All right, so let's see here. All right, we're going to be locking the votes in three, in two, in one. The voting is now closed. Let's see how we did, everybody. Ooh, Bob Marley. Let me ask you something. Uh, do you have any plans later? No. No? Nobody we need to contact or anything like that? Probably just going to hang out. <laughs> All right, cool. Does anybody know where you are right now? No. Nobody at all. <laughs> just Excellent. these guys. All right, cool. All right, now, just a piece of friendly advice here. Uh, if you scream on your way out, it really helps the process. I'm going to introduce you to my friend Melvin. He can't wait to meet you. There we go. Let's see where we're going right now. There we go. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Bob. Wow, Bob was a nice guy. All right, listen, everybody. Uh, that effect you just saw, I, I know what it looks like. When we first unveiled this event, we were very proud of it. We showed the admins, and well, they were kind of horrified because of that effect you just saw. It's a big misunderstanding, you see. What happens is that effect that you just saw, all that is, that's just seasoning. That's all that is. Avatars in all space are generally delicious. They really are. But the ones with the green tags over their head, it gives them kind of a minty, sort of a nasty aftertaste. It's kind of gross, really. So we have to throw in that seasoning to make it better for my friends. That's all that is. That's all it's ever going to be. And if you're in a campfire and you're in, you know, talking about a shark time and an effect you just saw, please remember, that's just seasoning. We're going to have t-shirts made up and mugs and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm really counting on all of you to raise awareness that that's just seasoning. That's all that is. That's all that's going on there. All right, everybody. Let's go to go into our second round let's clear out our scores here and uh we have uh, another space open let's see if we have anyone out there 
All right, we've got uh, Kristen out there. Let's, Kristen, you want to uh, you know, come up here? We'll uh, have you on. I think you've been on the show before, if I'm not mistaken. You're one of our uh, Raven Hall regulars. I recognize your name from the server. There we go. So I'm going to extend these bridges here. If you need to recenter, do it now because, you, you know, you do it like on stage. You end up in the audience like this. And it's just awkward. And you're like, oh, no, I'm back on here. So hang on. Now, you've been on the show before, right? I have. How'd you like it? I enjoyed uh, it a lot. I didn't get fed to the show. Hang shark. on a second here. We got, we got a problem up here. Hang on a second. Uh -oh. I see somebody ran up there. Okay. Mm. Oh, no, he's gone now. All right, cool. I saw somebody running up there. All right, cool. All right. Sorry about that. All right, Kristen, uh, let me ask you. You said you've been on the show before. How do you like it? I liked it. I didn't get eaten by a shark, so I was good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Oh, so you won the prize. I did. So hopefully I don't oh, cool. get eaten What did you do with your prize? <laughs> I put it in my house. Oh, cool. Well, you won the mug. Actually, now we have a new prize. I, I don't did. know if you heard. We have a 12-piece kit. All right, it's an aquarium theme, so maybe you have a good shot at doing uh, it. You know the drill. Really you cool. go up there and you just press that yep. consent button. Just a minor formality for our insurance company. Nothing to worry about there. Oh, shoot. Uh oh I just saw you fling out. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Oh, Here, no. let's just extend the bridges for you. That recentering is bad. You can do it all you want once you're on that yellow X, though. You know, there we go. Uh, extend that bridge. Come on up, Kristen. Yeah, the there we go. The stage, all right. Push. Excellent. Now you just go ahead and press that consent on, button Richard. for our insurance company. Get you all checked in. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Rush the stage. All right, you having trouble with the button there? <laughs> yep. All right. I tell you what we're gonna do Except is I'm gonna loan you my stage. name. Here we go. And that'll yeah. uh, that has worked in the past. We'll try that Can't out and see how that works. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. But just uh, verbally, you do consent to this, right? <laughs> I consent. <laughs> consent. You heard that, everybody. That's legally binding. All right, here we go. We're going to get you all checked in. There we are. All right, now we're just going to raise up a glass enclosure of your own. We don't want to make you feel left out. All right, everybody, let's see here. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so though your name says Michael Forrest temporarily, it's actually Chris and everybody. And uh, now you know how this is going to work when they ask you guys questions, and you just have to convince the audience that you deserve to live more than the person next to you. Let's start out with Smek this time. All right, Smek, are you ready for your question? Let's see here. Now, something to put in there. Yeah. All right. Well, between shows, Shark Tank spends a lot of time in there. He calls it his trailer. Right. Now, he's been around show business long enough to know that any performer, you know, who's really made it, they get their own trailer. Right. And now, you know, Shark Tank's been pretty successful, so he wants to have his very own trailer. I'm one of his very own. He wants something really super fancy. I'm talking like, you know, shiny, sparkly cup holders, people. Something really high end, right? You know, and he wants yeah. one of his very own. Uh, and I'm wondering, how can we get it so that we can sync one of these trailers and make it look like an accident? Sorry, what? <laughs> how can we sync one of these performance trailers and make it look like an accident? Um, well, we can take it to like, we can take it to a place like by water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of like drive it, and then you can jump out, leave the keys in there, and just let it go in, and then it'll eventually stop working, and then it'll sink to the bottom, and he has a trailer. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it could have happened. Anybody could have just driven a trailer into the ocean at random. That could have happened. Yeah, all right, cool. Ring <laughs> Queen, how about you? How can we get a trailer down here and make it look like an accident? Because, you know, our insurance company. Oh, right, something else. Queen, make it look like an accident. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time. It's not like your life depends on it. It's fine. It kind of does. <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, is that you point to I I can't say something bad because my mom's in the audience. <laughs> well, yeah, my mom's in the audience too, and I I also don't like it. So if you do say something bad, my hand will be really shaky over the buttons. You know, so maybe you know um, something I, that looks natural. I would have, I would have to say, um, what comes to mind is with that trailer. I would have to yeah. say, um, termites. Uh, I would have to put termites in the trailer, and yeah. and um, like put like little. Uh, stuff like lay down uh, whatever termites eat and lay down no. the termites okay. and uh, have it, you know, to where whoever sinks 
the thing and be like, okay, we have no use for this anymore. Yeah, then turn so, myself around, right? Yeah. It takes care of that. You know, it's a very elaborate plan for short notice. Now, better question is your mom's in the audience, right? Yeah. How come she didn't vote for you right away? I see your vote, your vote, your vote just went up. I've been like, you know, we're just clicking on you right there. You know, she's not mad at you or nothing, right? Then there we go, two. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Make sure three, even better. All right, cool, awesome. All right, now, Kristen, let me ask you, how can we get a trailer down here and make it look natural? I don't like an accident. All right, so first of all, we need to find out who's got the biggest, the best, and the most awesome trailer. Um, perhaps yeah. somebody rich, so we have, like, really, really cool things in there. <laughs> Then hack into their GPS, get their mm -hmm. GPS to drive them off the road so they crash, yeah. and then it could be Sharkies. That's a really good idea. <laughs> Very thorough. I like that. Good answer. All right, cool. Excellent. All right, now everybody uh -oh. take a moment to think about which answer you like the best. All right, because we're going to be closing the votes. Oh, the band put again. All right, Miss uh -oh. Producer, did you pay the band? Sorry. Every week, every week lately we've been having this problem. We've got to play the music. Listen to this. And then it's, it's not even there. You hear that? I haven't All right. totally quit. So, no, they haven't quit, but they're really just kind of calling in at this point. That's like one note, maybe two, you know. Tell you, you know, they tell you anyone can be a, an event host in Austin. They don't tell you how expensive it's going to be. You got to build these structures. You got to pay the band. Nobody tells you that. All right, cool. All right, let's see here. Now we're going to lock in our votes. Our votes are locked in now. Let's see here. Now it looks like, oh, uh, well, Kristen, you did really well. All right, Green Queen, you're still in it. Uh, Smek, let me ask you something. All right, how do you feel about sharks? I love them so much. That's awesome, because you're about to meet my friend Fang. <laughs> never mind, never mind, I don't. No, I don't. Never right. mind, I don't like sharks. Uh, well, no, well, Fang likes you. He really no. likes you. Look at, look at him no. shaking, everybody. Yeah? No. All right, listen. This will go a lot easier for you if you scream on the way out. All right, so just give me a good scream as you meet my friend Fang. Here we go. Ah! There you go, Smet Meat Fat. There you go, excellent. All right, everybody. Now, let's see coming in late. All right, maybe someone that's been here can help me out. What was that you saw? It's seasoning. That's right. That's just seasoning. That's all that is. Okay, cool. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our third round. Let's clean, clear our scores out here. Let's go into our third round. Now, as we move into our third round, you may have noticed when you came in, we have a Patreon sign in the lobby. Now, we're doing that and that May Coffee link, or May Coffee, that Buy Us a Coffee link over there uh, to raise money to put on more interactive experience for all of you. And, uh, you know, you, and and not only that, well, we do joke around an awful lot about feeding a shark in here. Uh, we also are are trying to, uh, you know, raise some of the uh, poor proteins of what we raise is going to go to Bimini Shark Lab. They do really important work. They raise awareness about some of the environmental challenges of facing sharks and erosions today. And, uh, yeah, we want to thank you all for giving us a chance to help them out and really even just subscribing to our YouTube channel and coming to our events that really shows your support. And we want to, you know, take a moment to thank you all for all that support you guys have been giving us. All right. Now, uh, let's see. As we move into our third round here, we're going to raise up these. Uh, we're going to put our scores up here. And let's start out with uh, let's start out with you, Kristen. You ready to ready for your question? Sure. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, let's see. Now, did you know that uh, when you when you enter a space, every time you enter a world in old space, uh, you, you, a new avatar is created. You, every time you enter a space, your avatar gets regenerated, and you come in, and it's just created. But nobody ever talks about what happens when you leave a space. All right. It's terribly wasteful. It really is. It's a shame. All right. And when we came up with the shark time, we really, you know, we were finally seeing avatars for the renewable resource that they are. All right. But now, now the admins want, want me to come in for questioning and I'll go. It's fine. But I'd like to know, what can I tell them to show them that we're doing good work here? I mean, it really is wasteful to use to just leave these other avatars in instances where they're not going to be used. They're just throwing them yeah. away. I mean, these sharks right? have to eat. It's understandable. <laughs> no. I would yeah. just plead to their human side that, you know, to yeah. just leave these avatars with, you know, just wasted makes no sense. Sharky has to eat, man. He has to eat. Yeah, I, I think it's saying. a no-brainer. Yeah, exactly. I, I... You hear that, Kristen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope the admins are watching today. You know, they're making a good play. How about, how about you, Ring Queen? What do you think? What should I tell the admins when I go in for questioning about, you know, how we're doing good work here? What should I tell them? I think you should tell them that it's this is your space, this is your show, and that 
Um, the sh- your sharks are your like your they're people. Like pets are people yeah, too, my and yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> friends and. To you, they're nice as yeah, long exactly. as you feed them, and, uh, and when you they know get hungry, you take it gets care kinda, of get, them. It gets kind of kind of stressful down here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you take care of them, and you take care of your people here. You give them good entertainment. So uh, I say, uh, yeah, go for it. All right, cool. You know, you know what? Let's uh, let's make things interesting. I like to ask everybody when we get toward the end here. All right, Ring Queen, if you could tell me, why is it that you deserve to live more than Kristen? <laughs> I I'm not saying that because I'm not I'm not saying that because um, I'm not gonna say that because I I'm. A, I'm well, right, well, I'll person. ask it this, this way then. Why should the audience vote for you more than they vote for Kristen? I'm not, I'm not used to a game show because I'm used to singing. I'm a yeah. singer. I'm not used to okay. a game show. I'm not you want to sing games. something for us? Maybe, maybe, maybe you can do it that way. You know, impress our audience. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't want to put you on the spot though. <laughs> You know, something like you're standing over there, your life depends on it. It's very stressful. I understand. You know. All right, well, let me move on to Kristen, though. All right, hang on. Kristen, let me ask you. Uh, why do you why do you deserve to live more than your, your, your competitive here? All right, well, it's not that I deserve to live more. I'm just saying I'm a little sour. Like, I don't really taste good. And you don't want your sharks to get sick. So if you yeah, feed like me to the sharks... I mean, you're just gonna have to pay a lot of money in vet bills, and yeah, you might not want you're that right, either. Actually. That that is a problem. <laughs> hey, right, I'm let's not sour either. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sweet either. either. I'm <laughs> sour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I got let's a let our audience too. decide. All right, which which, which one? Well, my the shark my shark friends are gonna enjoy more. No, I All am right, sour. Yeah, so, uh, we're yeah gonna, we're I'm gonna sour play too. What's left of our theme song? <laughs> Not much. Just a couple of notes. All right, everybody. Take a moment. We're going to lock in our votes in three, in two, oh, no. in one. The voting is now closed. You won't be able to vote anymore. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. It's close. Ring Queen, yeah. let me ask you something. Do you enjoy being on the show? Yes, I did. Bye. I need it. All right, good. I'm glad to hear that. This. As NSYNC All right. would say. As NSYNC You've been a really great say. volunteer. I hope you come back and try again. Bye, but, uh, bye, You're going to be Buster now. So go ahead and scream on your way out. Here we go. Here we are. Let me introduce you to my friend Buster. Give us a good scream. There we go. Bye, Ring Queen. There we go. Delayed scream. You know, a little bit of shock. You know, I understand. All right. Well, it looks like Kristen is our winner. I think this is your second time winning, right? If I'm not mistaken. There we go. We're very nice. All right. Let's see here. All right. Come on down here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take your picture. If you stand in front of this mug and face me. All right. And uh, we're going to take your picture. I'm going to count down from three and just yell out. Everybody can yell out. It's shark time. And if everybody will throw up all the emojis you can, let's make this picture look good because it'll go out on our Twitter. All right, everybody. Three, two, one. Let me see those emojis. Here we go. Shark time. Like that. There we go. All right. Good. I was the only one that said shark time, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> that's what we do is we normally take everybody out to the oh, Raven Street Academy, uh, you know, teach everybody how to fly. But also, lately, what we're doing is we're starting out by inviting you all up on stage, and then we're going to head on out to uh, show you our prize showcase. We can inspect the prizes we have. You know, and uh, let's see, Mr. Untouchable, you're raising your hand. Do you have a question? No. No, no. No. Oh. No, you're good. All right, cool. All right, so now what we're going to do now is we're going to extend our bridges here. All right, let's uh, turn off our stage blockers here so you guys can come up here. All right, now, uh, I haven't been we're going to be running this again. So if you come out and check us out this uh, this Saturday <laughs> at 7 awesome. p.m. Eastern, you'll find us in the events tab of your main menu. Everybody come on up to the stage, right? And what we're going to do now is show. we're going to head on out and uh, up this ramp here. You're going to see a oh, teleporter up here. Or a, <laughs> A type of portal there, and we're going to go on out to see the uh, Shark Time Showcase. So if you would like to inspect these prizes, you just come on up this <laughs> ramp here, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming, everybody. Come on up, everybody. Uh, I think I'm... Uh, okay, okay, come on, because so, I'm on megaphones. So. Let's go check out the prize, right? <laughs>